you are about to listen to another presentation of Raider basketball on your home for Raider sports, WWSU. You're up. Raider Nation, welcome to the Urban J. Nutter Center here on this, what day is today, Wednesday We're evening? fashionably late to the party. It's Thursday, December 30th, and oh it's Wright boy. State and Milwaukee oh throwing boy. it down in the Nutter Center. You know it, Wright State welcomes the Milwaukee Panthers, the, without peanut butter and jelly, without yeah, Patrick Baldwin Jr. tonight. I'll let you introduce the lineups, Paul. Parker, but something that's very interesting, getting his first start of the season against his former team, C.J. Wilborn in tonight for A.J. Braun, who's unavailable. Of course, before we do starting lineup, score predictions. We did not have time to do a pregame show. Shay, who wins tonight? I'm going right state by eight. I think it's a low-scoring game. I'm going Raiders 67-59. I'm with you. I think it's low-scoring as well. I think the Raiders pull this one out 62-57. to Starting tonight for the Milwaukee Panthers, n- number zero, Donovan Newby, followed by number two, Jordan Lathan. Number four, our old pal, DeAndre Golston. Don't say that. We don't like him. Number 11. <laughs> and number 24. Tonight for Sergeant Scott, yeah. Scott Nagy is out with COVID as well as, uh, you know, his son, TJ Nagy. So he is out with COVID. So Clint Sargent, the associate head coach, is the head coach for the Raiders tonight. But And we appreciate your patience. We're working out some tech stuff. It'll uh, hopefully improve as the game goes on. But yeah, absolutely. thank so, you for your patience yeah. here as we get started. Starting for the Raiders tonight, double zero, Grant Bazilli. Number one, Trey Calvin. Number two, Tanner Holden. Number five, CJ Wilborn. And number 24, Tim Finke. So here is Wilborn. Wilborn kicks it. Holden. Holden from the free throw line. No good. Fight for the rebound. Out of bounds. Raiders keep the basketball. Now, C.J. Wilborn's going to be playing with a chip on his shoulder tonight, Parker, because this was a guy that started a lot of games in his first two years in college basketball. They won because they got a guy by the name of Pat Baldwin Jr. So I, right. think, I think we'll see a very tough, very physical game from C.J. tonight. Absolutely. But silly. This is a two-point shot. No good. And Wilborn yeah. draws the foul on goal. Big. Well, that's not on Golston. I apologize. That's on Baker Jr. A lot of juniors on the Milwaukee roster. You got Pat Baldwin Jr. You've got Vin Baker Jr. All right, we're back. Work out some technical difficulties here. We should be good. We we should be good now. We are back. Nothing, nothing is our score. Either team has yet to score. 18 27 to go here in the first half. I'm Parker Testa, joined here by Shay Neal as Tanner Holden drops his first free throw attempt of the night. Checking in for Milwaukee is number 21, Tafari Sims. Sims was a nice piece off the bench last year for the Panthers, now thrust into a much bigger role, even some spot starts at times. Holden splits the pair, but Basile on the glass. Finky inside to Wilborn. He puts it up, and he walked with it. CJ kind of pump-faked himself there, Parker. Yeah, he sure did. Clint Sargent at the helm for the next two games for the Wright State Raiders. And for a lot of programs, Parker, that lose their head coach, it's obviously never a good thing. But how many programs in D1 college basketball have a backup option as good as Clint Sargent? Now, Clint Sargent was a f- player for Scott Nagy at South Dakota State. It was also on his staff at SD State as well. So He's been with he, the Raiders for five years now as yeah, well. Been here with Scott Nagy since he came to Fairborn. So very solid. You're, this is not much of a drop-off from Scott Nagy. It is not. And we're only two minutes into this game, Parker. It's one nothing Raiders. But something I've seen so far that I really like as Wilborn puts it up and a little strong. Tim Finke is playing outstanding defense on DeAndre Golston early. He absolutely is. So here we have Milwaukee. Here is Sims putting it inside and lay it up and in. Milwaukee takes the 2-1 lead. The last three, four games for Milwaukee. Tw- December 4th, a win against Robert Morris. December 10th at Colorado took a loss 65-54. to at or at, excuse me, at home again it took a loss to Rhode Island, 82-58, and ju- and just back on December 23rd, St. Xavier, and not the high school in Cincinnati, Shay, St. Xavier College in Illinois, and beat them 74-52. Basili just blocked the dunk attempt by Joey St. Pierre, and the and, crowd loves it. And as Trey Calvin gets a taste of their own medicine, there is newbie blocks Calvin's layup attempt. Here's a three from Golston. Good. 
And the Nutter Center knows far too well what DeAndre Golston can do. Unfortunately, they do. He was the quarterback of that 22-point comeback back in March. Holden. Calvin in the right corner. Back to Basili. Into the paint. They go to Finky. Here comes the double team. Finky finds Wilborn. Wilborn puts it up and in. C.J. Wilborn against his former team. Yeah, and that play took a very long time to develop, but Wilborn puts it in there and cut the cuts the Panther lead to two. It's the redemption tour of C.J. Wilborn tonight against the Milwaukee Panthers. Golston again. And this is the kind of guy, Parker, that... If he just sees a couple go in, he could be a problem for very long stretches of this game. Yeah, and with Patrick Baldwin Jr. out, they're looking to Golston to, for a spark tonight. Here's Finky inside to Holden. Holden backing down on Golston. Holden puts it up, and it'll go off the rim no good. And that'll be newbie to come away with it. And Tanner will tell you he's got to get that shot to go. That double team came way late. Holden just couldn't get it to go. Nice recovery defense by Holden there after Golston got a step. St. Pierre, no good. Rebound, Wilborn. Wilborn will throw it over to Calvin. 7 3 Panthers, our early score here. We'll have a timeout at the next, or we'll have a media timeout at the next dead ball. Basili, no double team. Holden top of the key. Holden back inside to Basili. Basili back it down St. Pierre. Basili inside. Puts it in, and the foul. That's a very bold call by Pat Baldwin to try and. Have Joey St. Pierre take on Horizon League Player of the Year candidate Grant Basili one on one. You love to see it. Grant, great finish inside, and he'll have a chance to finish it the old fashioned way when we come back. No, we will, I, we'll, we'll keep it here. We have a lot to catch why, up on. Why not? We do, you're right. So we have uh, the, the Lady Raiders go to you. We apologize. Okay, now we're back on we're the air. We're good. Welcome back to the Urban J. Nutter Center, everybody. I'm Paul. Hold and elevate. Welcome back. Oh, my. Tanner Holden. Welcome to Thursday Night Basketball. Wow. Unbelievable slam from Tanner Holden right there. Uh, we apologize. Had some technical difficulties there for a few minutes, but we are back. 13-12, Milwaukee leads the Red State Raiders. 12.34 to go, first half. And you missed two outstanding plays in a row. Finky hit a three, and then uh, Tanner Holden just slammed down on the entire city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Giannis felt that one. Absolutely. Tanner Holden, free throw good. Raiders have the lead, 14-13. Or are we tied? Have we, we are tied. The... Okay, we're tied at 13. And now James Manns checks in as Tanner Holden gets a breather. And Parker, Tanner Holden does not get a lot of breathers, so I wouldn't expect him to be out very long. He does not. Here's a three from Golston. Good! Ta DeAndre Golston put that one down from almost a logo. I'll tell you what, Parker. It looks like the Netter Center is Madison Square Garden for DeAndre Golston. This dude is just an electric factory in Fairborn, Ohio. The five on the floor. Here's Finky driving. Kick out to Norris. Norris for three. Bang! He got it! Keaton Norris, as Matt from Horizon Roundtable would say, the better Norris in the Horizon <laughs> League. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Five on the floor for the Raiders. Wellage, Finky, Manns, Basili, and Keaton Norris as Sims puts one up from about five feet. Well, they're shutting us up. This is a high-scoring game so far. Absolutely. 18-16 here, just over, just under halfway to go first half. Finky, Manns, Manns for three. No good. Rebound goes to Golston. I like the Raiders trying to get it going from the outside. Golston, the fake. The cut inside to Fari Sims. 
Parker Sims and Golston have 18 of the 20 points for this team. And Golston has 14 of them. So what a start for the Panthers here at the Irvin J. Nether Center here tonight. Finky inside the Mans. Almost lost the ball, but he got it back. Man's, Man's been pretty. Now you see me, now you don't from James Manns. And a little hook shot. Get the Raiders back within two. Now, I would say that DeAndre Golston can't be this good all game, but we have seen him be this good all game. So Here's a three from, let me see, that's number one. That's Lathan. Lathan, excuse me. Let's go, that's Devin Hancock. Hancock three is no good. Here's Norris. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Lathan's number two. Man's from the outside. No good. I tried to seem like I knew what I was talking about, and I was wrong. So here I am looking like the moron. <laughs> here is Moses Bull into the game as well for the Panthers. Seven foot one. He gets the ball here and throws it down. Moses Bull. Moses Bull. If your last name is Bull, odds are you're seven feet tall and you play basketball. Absolutely. Here's Tim Finky, in, Finky inside the Basili. Basili spinning, puts it up, no good, and that's just poor shot selection there from Grant Basili. Yeah, I think that was partially blocked as well by Bull. And I, I mean, Grant can go one on one with almost anyone in this conference, but when the guy's seven foot one, maybe pass out. <laughs> Here's Golston putting it up. No good. Rebound, Bull. Bull puts it back up. No good. Rebound, Finky. And I don't know if that'll show up in the stat sheet, but I think that shot by Golston was a foul by Finky, or was a block by Finky, and then Finky is fouled by Golston, and he comes up limping, Parker. Absolutely. I think Golston rolled his ankle on that. Timeout on the floor. We're going to go to break, and hopefully we come back okay. <laughs> You're listening to Raider Basketball, WWSC 106.9. Choice. You're listening to Wright State Raider Basketball on your home for Raider Sports, WWSU 106.9 FM. Back at the Irvin J. Nutter Center where the Milwaukee Panthers lead the Wright State Raiders 22-18, 9.31 to go here in the first half. I'm Parker Dustin, joined here by both teams here at the Irvin J. Nutter Center tonight. We have a quick 14 points from DeAndre Golston. Uh, and then for the Raiders, you know, we have we have three from Keaton Norris, two from Basili, three from Tim Finke. Uh, and it, it's just been a really strong start offensively here for both teams tonight. And Parker, something worth keeping your eye on heading into that timeout. DeAndre Golston went for the steal, ended up fouling Tim Finke, and started limping on that ankle started limping on that ankle he is not out there right now we'll see if he returns but that could be huge if he can't come back into that game for the Panthers absolutely here's Keaton Norris they're going to get it to Holden Holden inside to Wilborn Wilborn puts it up and puts it in Wilborn cuts the Panther lead to two here CJ Wilborn man Love to see it against your former team. Foul call on the inside. And heading to the line will be one of the best bench players in the Horizon League, Josh Thomas. And Clint Sargent speaking with one of the officials here about that last call. Our officials tonight are DJ Cartinson, Courtney Green, and Tony Meeks. Josh Thomas, his second free throw is good. Panthers by three. 23-20 our score. Here is Wilborn. Wilborn kicks it. Holden. Holden inside Basili. Basili puts it up. What a pass by Tanner Holden. And Parker, I'll say this. I'll say this, and I've said this a hundred times this year, and I'll say it a hundred more. Tanner Holden is such a weapon because he can do everything on the court. Here's a shot. No good. Rebound Norris. Shot attempt by number 11, Vin Baker. Here's Norris. Norris. Calvin top of the key, working left. Basili 
Thought about taking a three. He won't. Basili passes out to Calvin. And Bowl, I don't know if he's going to get all the way out to the arc. Maybe Grant should try that shot, see if it's working for him. Holden driving, puts it up and in. Tanner Holden again. Parker puts a pretty pass on the last possession and goes to the rim right there. Parker, I'm not a basketball coach, but I think a word, you know, a sound piece of advice here for Pat Baldwin and the Milwaukee Panthers, don't let Tanner Holden get hot. Absolutely. Here's Josh Thomas. Thomas working on Tanner Holden. And he Offensive is. foul, the push off brings us to a media timeout. 7.52 to go, first half. The short staffed Wright State Raiders tonight bouncing back after a slow start. They lead at 24 23 here at the Netter Center. Absolutely. Timeout on the floor. We'll take a quick one with them in the booth. 24 23. Go. We'll be back on WWSE 106.9. Hey, what's going on? It's KF Nash from Hot 102.9 and 1410 Wing AM, and I'm a proud alum of WWSU. You're listening to Wright State Raiders Sports right here on WWSU 106.9 FM, where the Raiders play. All my homies love Kev Nash, man. We're back here at the Irvin J. Netter Center. I'm Shane Neal, Parker Testa, hanging out with you here tonight. Wright State with a one-point lead thanks to Tanner Holden stuff in the stat sheet, Parker. Six <laughs> points, two rebounds, two assists, and a steal in nine minutes. Calvin driving out to Tim Finke. Finke thought about a three. He won't. He'll kick it out. Calvin for three. Bang! <laughs> Raiders on fire from downtown tonight. That's their third three. That'll be a foul on the Raiders. And the ball will stay with the Milwaukee Panthers. So, Parker, we still have not seen DeAndre Golston since he rolled that ankle about three minutes ago. Could be a sign. Oh, no, he's back in right now. He just checked back in. I apologize. So he is back. We'll see how quick he's moving, though, because... So, and that's Tafari Sims called for an offensive foul. But Parker, as we all know, you know, you can be as explosive a, ba a basketball player as Russell Westbrook, but as soon as you twist that ankle, all that explosiveness is, you know, just absolutely Yeah, it's out the door. Weakened. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. So we'll see. Golston's obviously a heck of a shooter and can still be a huge impact on this game, but we might not see as many DeAndre Golston drives to the basket anymore. Calvin. Calvin. Wanted a foul there. He won't get it. Here's a steal by Golston. Golston. Norris gets it back. Norris gets the steal from Golston. He's so quick, Parker. Keaton Norris. Calvin. Calvin gets it over to Finky. Calvin thought about a three. He won't, and he walked with it. And that's something we've seen throughout the career of Trey Calvin, Parker. I think his next step in development is to just have the confidence to just take that shot. I think he's sometimes too pass first of a point guard where he's trying to find a guy that's open, but sometimes he's the open one and he just needs to let it fly because we know he can shoot. Absolutely. 27-23 Raiders by four here first half. Good one here on Thursday night. Milwaukee Panthers and the Wright State Raiders. Calvin wasn't ready for the ball, but luckily Norris was right there to save it. Heads up play there by Keaton Norris. who has been in on a couple loose balls here in the last minute or two. Keaton, top of the key, guarded by Donovan Newby. Norris Calvin. gets it to Calvin. Calvin over to Finky. Finky. Ten to shoot for the Raiders. Finky kicks kick it out. It. Holden for three. No good. Basili fighting for the ball, and St. Pierre comes away with it. Good look from Holden, too. Normally you see them knock those down. Absolutely. Trey loves being in the corner. Or Tanner loves being in the corner, excuse me. I'm sure Trey does, too. Yeah. But... We got three T's on this team. <laughs> Absolutely. All of whom love being in the corner. And they all hit threes. <laughs> Finky will pick up his first foul. Six minutes to go first half. Raiders up 27-23. Parker early on. Milwaukee really looked to be in control of this one because of DeAndre Golston, but rolled that ankle. He's back in now, but ever since he rolled that ankle, it's been all right state. Absolutely. Raiders leading by four right now. Make it by, by three. This as is Jordan Lathan at the line. Jordan Lathan hits his first free throw shot. Yeah. 
Lathan will make his second free throw attempt. 27-25 Milwaukee here. Good to have Horizon League basketball back. And happy holidays and happy new year to all of you listening here at home. Absolutely. Here's Calvin. Calvin here to Basile. Basile working on St. Pierre. Basile inside. Gets the double team and he makes the shot. Parker, you think Grant likes that matchup? Every time he touches the ball, he is going right at Joey St. Pierre. And he's winning more times than not. Yeah, absolutely. Went up against two Panthers right there and hits the shot. Here's Lathan and he'll knock it down. Now with Pat Bulb, there's a nice piece alongside Goldston so they can keep Josh Thomas on the bench as the sixth man. Lathan's really had a nice season uh, going from a guy that didn't get a ton of minutes to a guy that's a huge part of this Panther team. Holden for three, no good. Rebound goes to, I think that's, the, no, that's Josh Thomas, excuse me. Here is Golston. Golston inside. St. Pierre, and he's going to miss the dunk. And they're, they're going to call they're a gonna, foul. They're going to call a foul on that. Nutter Center doesn't like it, and ne neither does Clint Sargent. Grant doesn't like it, but even the Bright State bench doesn't like it more than Grant. I don't know. I try my best not to be biased on plays like that, but Parker, that looked like all ball. Sure did. St. Pierre at the free throw line, good. 29-28 Raiders. And that would have been the second time tonight that St. Pierre had gone up for a dunk and Grant Basile had said, uh, no, sir. And St. Pierre ties it here. 4.56 to go, first half. Here's Keaton Norris. Norris moving quickly. Norris to Finke. Basile holding, driving. Puts it up, and the foul! I love the quickness of the Raider offense. Tanner Holden saw the hole, exploited it, and nobody is better at finishing in traffic than number two in the green and gold. That, that's Milwaukee. Keep an eye on this, Shay. That's Milwaukee's eighth foul here in the first half. Absolutely. Wilborn about to check back in for the Raiders, in for Basile. The pride of Wheelersburg, Ohio, Tanner Holden. From pride of Wheelersburg to pride of Fairborn, this, this Raider team goes as Tanner Holden goes, and there's no doubt about it. Absolutely. Here is Newby. Newby over to Josh Thomas. Now, Parker, it looks like the Raiders switched it up to a zone here. Sure did, and certainly working. Panthers having trouble with this defense. Look at Keaton Norris going up and getting it. And he's going to be fouled. And that's going to let Keaton get two free throws. That'll be the second on Donovan Newby. Now, how do you feel about that? Because that was a loose ball. Uh, two players collided there. It looked like Keaton was going to come away with it, so I understand the foul call. But I also believe, you know, just kind of let them go for it sometimes. And it feels like basketball sometimes punishes players for going for a loose ball. Yeah, I don't like the foul there, but I understand why they called it. Norris knocks down the first free throw. And that's a big foul because Donovan Newby is this team's starting point guard, and he now has two fouls in the first half with still four minutes to go. Sure does. Right State in the bonus here. Now we're going to have Andrew Wellis check back in. Tanner Holden will take a seat. Pretty good crowd for the day before New Year's Eve. Well, yeah, most of the student section home for the holidays, Parker. So a little bit of a shrunken down student section, but good to see the Raider faithful still pack the house and, you know, put 2021 in the books in style. Absolutely. Here is Josh Thomas. Excuse me, Golston. Golston passes over to Josh Thomas. Thomas driving on Wellage. Good defense by Wellage. Rebound, Wilborn. Parker, I'm probably about to jinx it, but I don't think DeAndre Golston's taking a shot here in about five minutes. I don't think he hasn't either. Here's Calvin. Calvin in trouble. And he'll put it up from the free throw line. Good! What a way to get out of trouble for Calvin, and he lays it in. Pat Baldwin needs to talk it over. Trey Calvin with a Houdini act to get his way into the lane and put the Raiders up seven, their largest lead of the night. We'll be back shortly. Stay with us. WWSU 106.9 FM. This is Wright State Basketball on WWSU 106.9 FM, your home. 
for Raider Sports. Back at the Irvin J. Nutter Center, the Raiders lead the Milwaukee Panthers 36-29. 3.52 to go first half. I'm Parker Testa, joined here by Shay Neal. Well, thank you for joining us on this Thursday evening. I said Wednesday earlier, but it is Thursday. Thank you for hanging out with us here from the Irvin J. Nutter Center. And I'd just like to give a quick shout out to the catering staff here at the Nutter Center. These mashed potatoes are fire. You were eating some during the break. I was. 36-31 here from the Nutter Center. Hook, as shot, hook shot on the baseline by Joey St. Pierre goes down. Pinky holding, holding, driving. Out to Norris. Norris for three. Got it! <laughs> Offensive start to the game for the Wright State Raiders. Parker, we've said numerous times this year that we believe Keaton Norris is the future starting point guard for the Wright State Raiders. And, you know, it's been a lot of ups and downs for Keaton like it is for every freshman. But what we've seen in this first half is what Keaton Norris is capable of. Nice defense there from Tanner Holden, but but uh, Josh Thomas knocks it down there. Raiders still hold a six-point lead, 39-33, 2.42 to go. Eight points, two rebounds, a steal in nine minutes. Has not missed a shot, Parker. You think Keaton Norris is making an impact tonight? Finky from 15. He'll hit that He'll hit that one. Raiders up to 50% from the floor in the first half. And all their stars are heating up. Finky now up to five. Aggressive basketball on defense here for the Raiders. They get it inside the St. Pierre. Here's Thomas. Thomas knocks it down. Nice cut. Josh Thomas, six foot four. That's going to be a problem in a mismatch for the six foot Trey Calvin for most of the night. 41 35, two minutes to go even here in the first half. Here's Tanner Holden. Holden, Basili. Basili out to Finky. Finky to Norris. Norris spinning back to Holden. Holden driving. He'll turn around and lay it up, and it's no good. Rebound goes to Josh Thomas. Golston stopping on a dime. Now tries to back down Finky. Double team comes. They kick it to Thomas, and he puts it in over Basili. What a tough shot. Nice shot there by Josh Thomas to keep the Panthers in this one. They needed that too. 41-37, 80 seconds to go first half. Here's Calvin. Basili holding. Holding top of the key. He'll well, nice pass inside. Calvin turnaround jumper, no good. Panthers moving quickly here. Now they'll slow it up here and burn a little bit of clock. Raiders got to be careful if the Panthers score here. That's six unanswered. One minute and a half. Fifty-seven seconds to go. First half. Fourteen to shoot. Here is Lathan. Golston for three. No good. Rebound St. Pierre. He'll get it back to Josh Thomas. Thomas inside. Very same shot he took, and St. Pierre gets the rebound. And the Panthers had three chances at it right there. About eight seconds separate shot clock and game clock. Raiders up 41, 39, 30 seconds in and the Nor first half. Nor Norris has to call a timeout right there. So the Raiders will drop a play, trying to get a score before the break. We'll keep it here. Just a 30-second timeout. Thank you, Jason. Raiders losing the rebound battle so far tonight, 20 to 17. Have gotten three steals, but all in all, it's been what we thought it would be, Parker. Two teams that we said before the season are gonna be contenders in this conference. Looks like we're gonna have a good basketball game here tonight. Yeah, Raiders lead by two here, 31 and a half to go first half. Uh, it, it's been, you know, the three ball has been the story tonight for both teams, Wright State four for eight, and Milwaukee four for seven. So we've seen a lot of scoring uh, either from the three or inside. We haven't seen much mid-range shots going down. It's been either three ball or inside play or inside scoring, I should say, for both teams. Well, what's interesting, DeAndre Golston has 14 points for Milwaukee. He's shooting 80% from downtown, only 16% inside the three-point line. Back in play here, Trey Calvin, 15 to shoot. Calvin gets it to Holden. Here is Basili Finky. Finky back to Holden, top of the key. Finky inside Basili, backing down St. Pierre. He'll turn around and lay it up. No good. Rebound St. Pierre. Panthers Shock. can tie or take the lead here with five seconds left. 
Five. In the first half. Four to shoot. Three. Bang! What a shot there by Devin Hancock. And the Panthers take the lead at the buzzer as we go to the half here at the Urban J Nutter Center. Milwaukee at the buzzer in the Nutter Center. Does that ring a bell? Let's 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 not let's save Raider fans from that heartbreak. You're right. Milwaukee has a 42-41 lead at the break here at the Irvin J. Netter Center. We're gonna step away for about 10 minutes. When we come back, it's the WSU Raider halftime show. We've got a good one on our hands here in Fairborn. What do the Raiders have to do to get a huge second win in Horizon League play? We'll be back in just a few minutes right here on WWSU 106.9. You are listening to Raider Basketball right here on WWSU 106.9 FM. Second half action coming up next. Let's get this win, Raiders. Halftime here from the Irvin J. Nutter Center. I'm Parker Tessa, joined here by Shea Neal. The, the Milwaukee Panthers lead the Raiders 42-41 after a strong offensive first half from both teams. You know, Grant, Grant Pasilli had seven. Tanner Holden leads the Raiders with nine, but Golston has 14 in that first half. And what's crazy is, you know, 14 points and a half is great. But he had 14 points in about nine minutes, and he hasn't scored since about the 10-minute mark. Yeah, absolutely. So... Raiders come out and they, you know, they're they're losing the rebound battle right now. Milwaukee has the re- the rebounding edge, twenty one to seventeen. Um, you know, but but the the perimeter shooting has been all both teams, you know, bread and butter tonight. They, they you know, the Raiders have our four for eight. Milwaukee's five for eight after you know a, a three pointer at the buzzer right there, to, a, right before the half to take the lead. Uh, what do the Raiders have to do to continue to? play this good offense that we've seen from them tonight? What do, they have, what do they have to do offensively to keep up the pace? What do they have to do to shut down Milwaukee defensively? I think they're well on their way offensively. I like the shot selection. I like the mix of driving inside and getting open threes. I think if they want to keep scoring at this pace, they Basile and Holden have to get help from the guys that have been helping so far. Keaton Norris, Trey Calvin, Tim Finke, they've all been great so far. They have to continue to be great in the second half. And really, all you can do to defend Milwaukee, DeAndre Golston's going to get his. You have to make sure that guys like Josh Thomas and John St. Pierre, or Joey St. Pierre, excuse me, as well as Tafari Sims, who had a great first half, do not catch fire. Because last year, the reason why Milwaukee beat Wright State was because T. John Lucas and DeAndre Golston got hot. If just Golston gets hot, I think this Wright State team's good enough to beat him. Yeah, absolutely. The The Panthers are shooting 48% from the field. Raiders, 45. Raiders have 71% from the free throw line to Milwaukee's 83. And Parker, I'll throw this out there. Both of these teams had really tough non-conference schedules. Milwaukee, 3-8. and eight, Wright State, 4-7. and seven. But what we've seen in the first 20 minutes... These two teams look like everything we heard about heading into the season. These two teams I could easily see making it to the Final Four in Indy. Yeah, just under two minutes to go before the second half action begins. We're going to step away when we come back. Second half action of Raider basketball from the Niner Center. Don't go away. Hey, what's going on? It's KF Nash from Hot 102.9 and 1410 Wing AM, and I'm a proud alum of WWSU. You're listening to Wright State Raiders Sports right here on WWSU 106.9 FM, where the Raiders play. Twenty minutes down, twenty to go. Welcome back to the Irvin J. Nutter Center. I'm Parker Tessa, joined here by Shay Neal. We got second half action coming up for you right now as the Milwaukee Panthers lead 42 to 41. I'm so glad that people can't see what we do during the break. It's so uh, 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 there's no words to describe it. How stupid we are. Here's Finky driving. He puts it up. No good. How do you get that? Look at that. Nice pass. Who's got the ball? It's St. Pierre. Milwaukee has it. Finky got the ball sitting on the floor. Golston driving. Basile couldn't get all of it, and it still falls for Golston. First points for Golston in about 10 minutes. Panthers by three. Here is Tanner Holden. Holden driving, putting it up, and 
It'll be Basile rebound. He puts it back up. Fight for the ball, and it's going to be Panther basketball. Raiders got a couple good looks on that possession. Just could not get them to fall. Panthers with a big chance here to build up a multi-possession lead here. Just a minute into second half action. It's 44-41. Milwaukee leading the Wright State Raiders. Wright State, Milwaukee. Milwaukee notoriously known as the kryptonite of Wright State. Newby step back. That's off. St. Pierre foul on the floor against Wilborn. That's two fouls on CJ. 44-41, Panthers lead. On this Thursday evening from the Irvin J. Nutter Center, right after Christmas break. Day before New Year's. Absolutely. Hope all of you have some fun New Year's Eve plans. If you're following the uh, UC Bearcats, they play the Alabama Crimson Tide tomorrow in the college football playoff. And I mean, even if you aren't a fan of the UC Bearcats, what a cool moment, what a cool opportunity for a team like Cincinnati to get to go to the big dance and play a guy. A, a, you know, that's a milestone for that program in Luke Fickle. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm pulling for the Bearcats. I am. I think most of America is outside of Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I would love to see Desmond Ritter, Luke Fickle, and that group get to the national championship game. Absolutely. So we have an official review here. Not yeah, I think they're going to be reviewing for the hook and hold there, Parker. That foul underneath on Wilborn. There's a new rule that got put in a couple of years ago where if he has that arm hooked, it's technically a technical foul. St. Pierre would get a couple free throws, and Milwaukee would get the ball. We'll see what the call is. Can't remember if it's called a technical foul or a flagrant one, but it's one of the two. But it looks like they're going to say no hook and hold, which I think was the right call. I do too. So we're going to get the inbounds here. St. Pierre is working on Wilborn. Here's Golston. Golston. Step back, two pointer. Good. How do you defend that? That's so pretty. He's, that's, he, that shot has been money for Golston all night. Guys that play offense like that include Jason Tatum, Luka Doncic, LeBron James, Steph Curry. You don't defend that. Absolutely. Here's inside. Holding and he's fouled hard. hard. Foul by Lathan. And Tanner Holden's going to go to the line here. I think Lathan was pleading his case there that he got all ball. No, you, you got all shoulder of Tanner Holden. And Tanner Holden hit the deck with the other shoulder. Yeah. So. Holden, the first free throw, good. Wright State comes into this one, Parker, 10th in the country, shooting 79% at the free throw line this year, something they've notoriously struggled at in the past. They've turned it, out, they've turned it around and then some. Holden, the second free throw, no good. Announcer's jinx, man, never fails in Panther basketball. I should just stop talking because the announcer's jinx never fails. <laughs> so we're going to have Vin Baker to inbound here to Lathan. He who assaulted Tanner Holden, as we'll refer to him for the rest of the game. <laughs> Lathan working on the gentleman he assaulted. And that's a yeah. foul on Trey Calvin. It'll be called a reach. It's Trey's first. 46-42, Panthers lead, 18.09 to go here in the first, excuse me, second half. Lathan is working on Tanner Holden. Lathan driving. Oh, Holden falls down. Lathan the shot, no good. Who has the ball, fight for the ball. It's going to be Raider basketball. And you will not see that play on Sports Center. Parker make the shot. He made the shot. I see top. He hit the jumper. Holden got his ankle. Here. Ankles. Indeed. St. Pierre. 
We'll take a quick break, folks. We'll be right back. We apologize. All right, back here at the Irvin J. Nutter Center. Had some quick technical difficulties, so we apologize. But while we are away, Wright State's offense has gone cold. 54-44, Panthers lead. And Golston's got hot again. He's up to 22 points now. And Wright State really struggling in the rebound battle. It's allowing the Panthers to get second chance points. I think we're starting to see what the loss of A.J. Braun means to this team because they're missing that force down low. Yeah, 15.31 to go, 54.44. We sit here at a timeout on the floor. Uh, we'll run you over some quick statistics here from the last few minutes. Golston has 22 points, and we still have 15 minutes to go in this game. Tanner Holden has 12. Calvin has 7. The Silly with six, Pinky with five, Wilborn with four, and Keaton Norris has eight points as well. Uh, but this Milwaukee Panthers offense has been all DeAndre Golston tonight. As we have a little bit of a, a shooting competition going on between two fans here. The guy on our side here, he's knocking some down. He certainly is. Good form. Absolutely. Guy on the far side isn't doing as well. Now, Parker, I've been a part of this contest before. You think you've got a decent jumper until you're until you're out there. You're both winners. Look at that. But you really think you have a good jump shot, Parker, until you're out there, and then you realize that you're just absolutely garbage. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, maybe Scott Nagy would let me on as a walk-on, makes one free throw in 30 seconds. Maybe not. Confidence out the door right there after that. No doubt. So 54-44 to go as we come out of this timeout here at the Urban J. Nutter Center. We appreciate you hanging out with us on WWSU 106.9 FM on this Thursday evening. We will be, of course, be back tomorrow from UD Arena as the Lady Raiders take on the Flyers. Tip off will be at noon. Pre game show 11:45. That's early, man. It is early. Am I gonna get up that early? We'll it see. is early. Luckily, I have I've had to get up early on this break, so I'll be all right. Sounds like an L for you. <laughs> so some statistics here from Milwaukee. They are 50 shooting 51 percent from the field. They have shot 62 percent so far in this second half for the Raiders. They're shooting 40% from the field. They are only shooting 14% here in the second half. So we'll see if Clint Sargent and the offense can pick it up here. So Raiders have taken the court. We're just waiting on the Panthers to get back out, door, out there. Here's the buzzer and we're ready to go. It'll be it'll be, I believe DeAndre Golson to inbound. Here is Lathan. Lathan. Gonna screen set by St. Pierre. Lathan working on Trey Calvin. That's going to be an offensive foul. That's big for the Raiders. Down 11 right now. Could really use, you know, a 6 8 0 oh run. Get back in this one. And Trey Calvin has gotten so much better on the defensive end of the floor. Takes the charge there. Here's C.J. Wilborn. Wilborn hands it. Calvin back to Wilborn. Wilborn working on St. Pierre. Wilborn out to Holden. Holden cross court to Norris. Norris to Finky. Finky back to Norris. Norris to Holden. Holden driving. Driving in. Puts it up. 
Fight for the rebound. It's going to be a foul on the Panthers. Looks like Tanner was pushed in the back there. Some people think that, or some people forget about how athletic Tim Finke is. Tim Finke was jumped the highest out of anyone on the floor there, and Finke's going to get free throws out of it. Foul's going to be on Joey St. Pierre. That's his third foul. Finke goes to the line here, and he misses the first one off the back of the iron. Was this bull back in for the Panthers, the big seven footer? Finky second free throw, good. Ten point lead for the Panthers. 55 45 is the lead for the Milwaukee Panthers. Here is Bolston. He'll hand it out to Newbie inside to. That's Sims, and Sims shots no good. Fight for the ball. Wilborn gets it. Raiders need some stops and some scores here. We'll see if they can continue to chip away at this lead. Wilborn. Here's Wilborn for three. No good. And that's going to be a rebound to Newby. I think that was a little bit of a rushed shot there. CJ, not really known for taking those threes, and way strong on that one. Wilborn but he gets a steal here. Comes away with the steal. Wilborn to the bucket. He'll lay it in. C.J. Wilborn with a big play against his former team. Got the Panther lead to eight here. Panther on Panther crime here at the Nutter Center. The Nutter Center wakes up a little bit here. Here's Lathan. Lathan step back. No good. Rebound Finky. And the stops and scores you talked about, Shay. They have one. They need Norris. to get a few more. Oh, I wish you let it fly. Finky, Norris, Calvin. Calvin driving in. Shot from about 10 feet. No good. Rebound, Wilborn. CJ Wilborn's been a spark tonight. Calvin thought about a three. He won't. Here's Holden. I like this matchup. Golston's not a great post defender. Finky fakes the three. Drives. Finds Holden. And a foul. Tanner will go to the line. The netter center loving it. Great find by Tim Finke. That'll be Golston's second. Parker, I love this conference. Purdue Fort Wayne up two on Cleveland State. Oakland up three on Robert Morris. Green Bay up five on Northern Kentucky. There is never a boring night in the Horizon League. Absolutely not. Tanner Holden knocks down in the first free throw. Grant Paselli checks back in for C.J. Wilborn. Tanner Holden, second free throw attempt here, and it is good. Raiders have cut it down to six. One more stop, and they could make it a one-possession game. But Tanner Holden trying to get the crowd loud, and they are responding. Nutter center crowd loving it. Golston driving, misses, but it's going to be a putback by Bowl. What a play. Raider bench wanted an over the back. They won't get it. Holden trying to go quick the other way. Here comes the double Holden team. He spins spinning. the other way, and he's fouled. Golston picks up his third. That is big. Pat Baldwin doesn't like it. Neither does Golston. But I don't blame him. <laughs> no, nonetheless, it's a foul on Golston, and the Raiders keep the ball here with the new... Shot clock and Holden knocks it down. Off the inbound from Grandpa Silly. Parker, this is two of the best players in the Horizon League going right at it. Golston versus Holden. This is what it's all about. Red State bench loving it. Here is Newby. Newby from about 20. No good. Bull gets the rebound and he's fouled. It's going to be on Keaton Norris. This right State bench is loving it. They are a part of every single play. Why do they even have the chairs there on the Raider bench? They're not using them. Absolutely not. <laughs> so it'll be... Let's see. Who Hancock is out. It looks like that is Lathan be, coming back in. And we'll have Lathan on the inbound. Lathan gets it into Bowl. Bowl hands it back to Lathan. Lathan driving on Trey Calvin. It's going to be a foul on Calvin. 
Both teams with six team fouls now here. So that's, that's going to be that's going to be Trey Calvin's third foul here. And for Milwaukee, they have three. They have two players with three fouls, being St. Pierre and Golston. So remember, in college basketball, it's five fouls to foul out. Here's a three. No good. Rebound Tanner Holden. Raiders can cut closer here. They're down six. Finky up ahead. Finky for fly. three. No good. That went in. The Nutter Center was going to explode. Absolutely. Here is Josh Thomas. Thomas to Newby. Newby driving on Basile. Newby. That's going to be... Offensive foul. Yeah. That offensive foul there on Newby. Timeout on the floor. We'll be back. Stay tuned. This is getting good. This is what we thought this would be. Don't go away. We'll be back on WWC 106.9. Raider Nation, we got a good one tonight in the Netter Center. Let's get this W, baby. Raider up. A good one indeed inside the Netter Center. The Wright State Raiders have cut it down to six. I'm Shane Eel, Parker Testo alongside with me. Parker, this is exactly what Horizon League Hoops is all about. Right before New Year's, Tanner Holden and DeAndre Golston, two of the best players in this conference, just going back and forth. Yeah, and the Raiders have picked it up uh, shooting percentage-wise in the last few minutes. Uh, they, they needed some, you know, the stops and scores, if you will, and they've gotten them, cut the Milwaukee lead to six here. Uh, and they have the basketball right now. Here's Calvin. Calvin. He's going to hand it in to Basile. Basile to Finky. Holden inside to Basile. Basile lays it up and puts it down. Great positioning by Grant. Raiders back within four. And maybe the Milwaukee big starting to wear out a little bit. Holden and Basile are taking control. Here's Josh Thomas inside on Tanner Holden. Goes up strong. Basile, great defense, and a foul is called on Grant Basile. We went from hardly any calls in the first half to they're just calling everything here in half number two. We see some of the Mario Brothers characters and a couple a brick. bri bricks over in the student section along with Baby hey, Yoda. Hey, and the brick works. And it works as Josh Thomas misses his first free throw. Well, you know what they say, Parker, in the book of Jesus Shuttlesworth, ball don't lie. As he missed them both, think he comes away with the rebound over the seven foot one bowl. Calvin brings it up. What's the call here? We're going to have a stoppage of play. They just not start the clock? Was that the issue? Yeah, it's a clock issue, apparently. Raiders can cut it to a one-score game here on this possession. It was 55-44. There we go. Now clock starts. It was 55-44 Panthers. Now a 9-2 run for the Raiders. Here's Andrew Wellage. Wellage to Basile. Basile cross-court to Calvin. Calvin working on Lathan. Here's Tanner Holden working on Josh Thomas. Holden driving. Puts it up. No good. Fight for the rebound. It's going to go to Tafari Sims. 11 minutes to go. Raiders down four to the Milwaukee Panthers. Here's Josh Thomas inside. He'll lay it in. Pretty finish. One of the best bench players in the Horizon League. Calvin with a spin. Calvin to Grant Basile. Basile for three. No good. I like that look, though. That yeah, was an open look for him. Just couldn't quite knock it down. Cole's not going to go out to the three-point line. Grant's going to get that shot. Thomas working on the much smaller Calvin. Lathan holding with a nice defensive recovery. Ten to shoot for the Panthers. Lathan in and out. Fight for the rebound. It comes away with Milwaukee. Sims a step back. That is no good. Bull comes away with it. And he loses the ball. Wellage moving quickly. He'll hand it to Holden. Holden behind the back. Up. No good. Calvin leads it on the play. Wow. Holden went behind the back. Split the double team. And Calvin comes out of nowhere to finish it off. 
Unbelievable. That's worth seeing again, and we'll take a look at it here on the Jumbotron at the Nutter Center. Calvin nearly got a steal. Burning some valuable seconds on this possession for the Panthers. 15 to shoot already for the Panthers. They're just getting started. Newby outside to, well, excuse me, here's Lathan. Lathan for three. No, no good. good. Rebound. Holden. And Here then come, another, another center's, center's loving it. Loud. Wellage inside. Good! Andrew Wellage! The Raiders are back within two! The uh, another center is loud right now, folks. Parker, this is a great crowd because this is not the biggest crowd we've had all year. Absolutely. But this is the loudest crowd we've had all year. Absolutely. Andrew Wellage snuck behind the defense. What a pass from Tanner Holden, the former quarterback in high school. He showed it on that play. That was a dime. Absolutely, and Wellage got the foul too, so he has a chance to cut within one here. And he will. One point game inside the netter center. The Raiders have come all the way back. They were down by as much as 10. Try walked. Raider ball. And they get loud again. Another center is loud right now, folks. And then it's funny how it goes to deafening silence as soon as the Raiders have the ball. Here is Holden. Holden driving. Kick to Basili. Basili backing down on Bull. Basili puts it up. No good. Bull with the rebound. I think that one was partially blocked. Yeah, he wanted the foul call. He didn't get it. Panthers still hold a one-point lead. Lathan blocked by Grandpa Silly. Here's Pinky. Pinky moving quick. Pinky driving all the way. Got it! Raiders have the lead. Tim Pinky pretty left-hand layup. Raiders by one time out Milwaukee. What a night. We're both losing our voices, Shay. Wow. We forgot about tomorrow's game. We're going to be just absolutely gassed. Crowd on their feet at the Irvin J. Nutter Center. You don't want to miss this, folks. If the end of this game is anything like the last five minutes, you're in for a treat. We'll be back shortly on WWSC 106.9. You're listening to Wright State Raider Basketball on your home for Raider Sports, WWSU 106.9 FM. I'm having fun, are you? I'm having a lot of fun. Welcome back to the Irvin Day <laughs> Nutter Center, everybody. 60 to 59. 841 to go in this Nutter Center crowd tonight is fantastic. Like Shay said before the break. It's not the biggest crowd we've had all year, but they are certainly the loudest. No doubt about it. And this is a big game for them to be loud at. So the Raider faithful keeping the Raiders in this one. Newbie a three. That is off. Holden skies for the rebound. Raiders with all the momentum and a one-point lead. Tanner Holden gives it to Calvin. Calvin. Out to Basili. Finky Calvin. to Calvin. Calvin inside Basili. Basili backing down Bowl. Basili inside. Got it! Now Parker Basili scored there, but that's what I'm talking about. I wish Calvin would let it fly when he was open on the right wing there. But hey, we'll take the points. And especially over a seven foot one guy. Golston. His team still down only three. This crowd has been a lifesaver, a defibrillator for the Wright State Raiders tonight. And they are loud right now. Golston. Step back three. Golston, it's off. Holden with another rebound. And defense has shut down the Panther offense over the last few minutes. Here's Calvin to Finky. Finky inside to Basili. Are they going to run the same play? Looks like they will. Basili. This time, no good, gets his own rebound and puts it back in. Height is not everything, Parker. Grant Basili has the best skill set of any big in the Horizon League. He showed it there on the bigger Moses Bowl. Raiders have a five-point lead, 7.09 to go in the game. That one is good from Josh Thomas. Panthers needed a bucket. And they, he delivers. They got one there. Certainly needed the, the bucket to kill the momentum for the Raiders. But 
If they score here, this is get, this crowd's going to go nuts. That momentum ain't killed yet. It just was stopped for one possession. I don't Here's think it's Finky. Finky driving, and that's going to be a steal. Bad pass there by Finky. Goes right to Golston. Golston can tie it with a three here. Step back. Does he want the three? Oh, he does. He doesn't take it, though. This is Josh Thomas. Thomas working against Wellage. Driving. Kick out. Golston fakes. Golston spins. Goes up and lost the ball. Finky comes away with it. Raider defense on lockdown. Wellage inside from the free throw line. Got it! Good to see Wellage make an impact. That's a big shot. And he also has a huge and one earlier. Merry Christmas, Andrew Wellage. Just under six to go in this one. Raiders by five. Merry Christmas, Raider Nation. This is a heck of a basketball game. Absolutely. Well, my 67-59 prediction is dead. <laughs> yeah, my 62-58 is also dead. Newbie, a three. And way off. They try to save it, but throw it to Finky. Five and a half to go. The crowd getting loud again as Holden brings it up. Here is Basili. Thought about a three. He won't take it. He loses the ball, and it's going to be off of the Raiders, and the Panthers get the basketball back. Let's keep it here. Let's I do a, it. I have a headache. Do you have a headache? I also have a headache. I'm fine with it. Good friend of the station, Christian Peters, here taking some pictures tonight. Always good to see CP in the house. Absolutely. And you can catch CP on the call. Let me see. I, I don't have my schedule. I don't think it's Saturday. I think it's the next one. It is one. not Saturday. It'll be uh, January 8th uh, as the the Scott Nagy and the Raiders take on IUPUI so here at the year of Jay Nutter. So next Saturday. Uh, actually, that's that's next. Yeah, next Saturday, if I can do math correctly. Uh, it'll be me and Kristen here at the Nutter Center. That's always a fun time. Always. Christian is a blast of an individual. Both on and off air. Absolutely. Raiders have a five-point lead. Plus all the momentum right now. Well, Parker, it was 55-44 Panthers. And since then, a 22-6 run by the Wright State Raiders. They have seized control of this game. And we've talked about it. Especially last March, Milwaukee knows the kryptonite to Wright State basketball. They've been Wright State's thorn for a decade, Parker. And it's good to see the Raiders not giving in. And they're fighting with this really good Milwaukee team. Absolutely. 66-61. The Raiders lead here. 5-23 to go in the game. We talked about it earlier, Parker. Pat Baldwin Jr. not playing tonight. Neither is A.J. Braun for the Raiders, but yeah. you know why this team was picked to be a championship contender. If Baldwin was playing tonight, this team's maybe the best in the Horizon League. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're just about to get underway after this timeout here. We'll see if the Raiders can keep the momentum. The Scott nagy Raiders can keep the momentum. Clint Sargent's done a great job tonight. Clint Sargent's got to win his coaching debut, man. Absolutely. And this would be one heck of a win to pick up. Absolutely, over Pat Baldwin and the, and the Milwaukee Panthers. And, of course, shout out to the other assistants on the staff, Travis Trice, Dan Bure, doing a great job, as always. Absolutely. Hoping to have the five individuals that are out, including Coach Nagy, back for next weekend's game against UIC. But for tonight and the Saturday game against Green Bay, it's going to be uh, the most of the guys you've seen tonight. Certainly is. Certainly is. Appreciate it. I forgot we were on air there, but appreciate the stat guy always hooking us up. Absolutely. 66-61. Back in action here from the Irvin J. Nutter Center. Five, just a hair over five minutes to go in this one. Raiders up by five. Silly almost got that steal there. Golston's blocked by Finky. Finky fighting for the ball. Golston driving. He will be fouled. Offensive foul. Excuse me. That's Golston's fourth. Nothing going right for the Panthers. Grant Basile coming back down the court with a big grin on his face, and he, he should have a grin. And this is Golston's kryptonite, Parker. This guy can light up the scoreboard, but he is a very emotional player, and when things don't go his way, he lets it, know, he lets it be known on the court. So we'll see if that has an impact on him. Holden again! Raiders up seven, a 24-6 run. 
for the Wright State Raiders. What a night to be a Raider fan. Wilborn, great defense, but that reverse goes in for Josh Thomas. What an impact Josh Thomas has had tonight. 68-63. Raiders still hold a five-point lead here. 4.32 to go. 13 points for Thomas Parker, but doesn't that feel like just an absolute huge 13? Certainly does. Here is Calvin. Calvin trying to get around Newby. Here's Basili. Basili back to Calvin. Trey, you got to let it fly. He fakes it, drives. Calvin got it. <laughs> Trey Calvin with the right hand. Four minutes to go. It's 70 to 63 Raiders. And I know our friend Christian Peters is a photographer, but I didn't know he had a Polaroid with him here at the Irvin J. Nutter Center. Oh, he sure does. Timeout here from the Irvin J. Nutter Center. I believe Patrick Baldwin or Pat Baldwin wants to talk it over. We'll take a quick one we with him here in the booth. 70 to 63. Raiders lead this one. Don't go away. We'll be back on WWSC 106.9. This is Wright State Raider basketball on your home for Raider sports, WWSU 106.9 FM. Back here at the Irvin J. Nutter Center as Joey St. Pierre goes to the free throw line. 3.58 to go in the game. The Raiders lead 70-64. to And what a crowd we have here tonight. St. Pierre's second free throw is good. Raiders still lead by five here. I'm Parker Tessa, joined here by Shay Neal. What a turn of events we've had in the last 10 minutes. No doubt. Raiders were down 11. I mean, now led by as many as seven. They really were had their backs against the wall and took over. Holden fouled hard. Tanner Holden's hit the deck a couple times tonight very hard. But the former quarterback just keeps getting up. Absolutely. Holden has 18 tonight. Basili with 12. Calvin with 11. Three Raiders already in double figures. Finky with a chance, has eight. He has a chance to get to ten here before the end of the game. And Parker, a big development right now. DeAndre Golston, who leads the game with 22 points, has four fouls. He's getting about a 60-second breather, so he doesn't pick up that fifth until as late as possible. But big, big, big turn of events. If Golston picks up that fifth foul, it really hurts Milwaukee's chances, especially without Pat Baldwin Jr. And you might remember Golston was the... He's known here. Golston was the guy that led that comeback. Absolutely. Golston, Parker, Golston hit the shot from half court to tie it with .7 left. Yeah, absolutely. 72-65. Here is Sims oh. in the middle, and they're going to call a foul on the Raiders right there. That's going to be on Wellage. The number 22, uh, that, I mean, from here, I know that's the other end of the court, but from here, that looked like a clean strip. Yeah, Certainly did, but they call the foul anyway here. This is Tafari Sims at the line. Sims has six and misses the first. And we've had an electric crowd tonight. This crowd is on a Christmas high and about to hit a New Year's high, so that we caught them at a good time. Second free throw by Sims goes down. Raiders lead by six. Three and a half minutes to go, and if we've learned anything about this Milwaukee team under Pat Baldwin, it's do not count them out until the clock hits zero. Here's Holden. Holden driving. Reverse. Got it! <laughs> Tanner Holden. That's his 20th point right there, folks. Tanner Holden has put this Raiders team on his back tonight. He has tied Golston for a game high with 22. Media Row is loving it. Tanner Holden, the finesse around the rim. Here's Tafari Sims. Here's Newby for three. He got it. That's a big shot. That's a huge shot from Donovan Newby. Five-point game, 2.45 to go. Calvin brings it up. Quinn Sargent looking to win in his coaching debut, yeah. filling in for Scott Nagy. Yeah, coaching debut tonight. Here's Calvin burning some clock here. Calvin, Basili. Basili driving in. He's going to be... Holden was fouled inside by Lathan. Lathan assaults him again. And this time Tanner is going to get free throws. What does Lathan have against Tanner, man? He's hit him, like, really hard three times tonight. And they're going to give Lathan his fourth foul as well. So that'll be Lathan's fourth. So the Panthers, with two players 
with a chance to foul out here before the end of the game. That's Lathan and DeAndre Golston, both with four. You know what's crazy, Parker? Tanner Holden is known as an all-around player. He's not really known as a scorer, but here he is at the free throw line with 22 points tonight, and every single bucket he's gotten has been huge. DeAndre Golston back in the game, and the crowd instantly knows it. <laughs> Instantly knows it. Get a little bit of a groan there from the crowd. Tanner Holden missed his first free throw. A little unconventional from Tanner. We'll see if he can recover, and it rolls off. Uh, very rare two misses from Tanner Holden at the at the charity strip right there. 2.20 to go. We've seen Milwaukee erase deficits in this building before. Do they have another one in them? Here's Lathan driving. Def held up by Holden. Great defense by Tanner. Thomas lost it, got it back, got it over Basili. And a timeout is called by Pat Baldwin. We have a three point game with 2.06 to go. And every Raider fan in this building is tense, Parker. This Milwaukee team does not die in this building. <laughs> they do not. This Milwaukee team does not go down, like you said, until that clock hits triple zeros. And until Golston picks up that fifth foul, they are not dead tonight. Absolutely. And I, and I think even if without Golston, they still have a shot. Oh, no doubt about it. This team is very, very talented, well coached. We've seen both of these teams at their best tonight. Parker, we talked about it last night. Who are the four teams heading into the new year that we think makes it to Indy? We neither of us said Milwaukee because they've been inconsistent all year. But if we see this Milwaukee, this Milwaukee team's getting to Indy. Absolutely. They are they've been very strong on both ends of the floor tonight. And a quick timeout there by Pat Baldwin. 2.06 to go in the game. Raiders lead by three. 74-71. Inbound from Finky to Calvin. Let's go under two to go. Banana Man is nervous. Everyone in the stands is nervous. Calvin trying to drain some clock here. Got to get a smart shot here. You got to drain clock, but you got to score on this possession. Holden tried to get a backdoor cut. Well read by Josh Thomas. Wellage, top of the key. Out to Finky. Finky over to Wellage. Wellage inside to Basili. Basili out to Calvin. Got to Calvin let it go. for three. No good. Grant fighting for the ball. Couldn't get it. Golston comes away with it. 90 now, seconds to go. Now, Shay, if you are Clint Sargent right now, at the beginning of that position, do you want to go for the shot or do you want to burn some clock? Oh, I burn clock, but I get a smart shot at the end. Nutter Center is loud right now. Here's Lathan. Golston fakes it. Great defense by Holden. Lathan, 10 to shoot. Golston wants it. Lathan pulls up and missed it. Basili fights for the rebound and gets it. Here's Tanner Holden. One minute to go with the Evan J. Nutter Center. Raiders up three. A and basket here would be so big for Wright State. And Trey Calvin looking up at the crowd right now. Crowd on their feet here at the Irvin J. Nutter Center. Here's Wellich. 45 seconds. I think you got to let it go with Holden. Absolutely. Holden driving. Holden held up. Holden Back to Wellich. Wellich inside. Thank you for three. Go! Go! And he puts the dagger in the Milwaukee Panthers. Holden, they knew Holden was going to get the look. He finds Wellens, what a feed. And Finke gets left alone and delivers a knife in the heart of the Milwaukee Panthers. You love to see it. And I think we're going to both come out of this game with laryngitis, Shay. Woo. But it's worth it. Unbelievable. If I'm coughing tomorrow, it ain't Omicron. Abs <laughs> <laughs> what a shot. What a possession by the Raiders. And I think that almost puts the dagger in the Milwaukee Panthers. You never can put this team down. But that is enormous. That goes a long way to putting the icing on this particular cake. What you're going to see right now, Parker, out of this timeout, Golston's going to take a three in about 10 seconds or less. If he hits it, it gets interesting. If Absolutely. he doesn't, I think the Raiders got it. Absolutely. So we're going to come out of this timeout here. 35.2 to go on the game block. And I'll throw this out there. I'm obviously pulling for the Raiders, but knowing DeAndre Golston, there's a very solid chance he hits it. Yeah, it is a six-point <laughs> lead, but the, like we keep talking about all night long, 
Milwaukee is never out of any game. They, there, there is 35.2 seconds. The Milwaukee Panthers are the 2016 Golden State Warriors at the Netter Center. Raiders have a six-point six lead right now, but Milwaukee is not out of the game by any means. That's such a big shot by Tim Finke. Unbelievable. And it, such a big shot. And where did he hit it from? The, the, corner. the corner. He always makes those corner shots. Panthers moving quickly here. Here's Newby. We're going to see Golston here coming off the screen. There it is. Newby. Golston for three. And it's off. Calvin's got it. And he stays in bounds. What's the call? Foul. There's going to be a, that's a foul. And we're going to see Trey Calvin go to the free throw line. I'll tell you what, Parker, that was elite defense by Trey Calvin. Made that shot really tough for Golston, and he still almost put it down. Unbelievable. <laughs> He's one heck of a player, isn't he? He was just a hair strong on that shot. I don't have a vote for all conference teams in the Horizon League, but if I did, Golston gets one of my first team votes. Yeah, absolutely. So Clint Sargent talking over strategy with his team here briefly. As I think we have, we have a timeout on the floor. I think maybe for an official review. I'm not sure what they're reviewing. I here. think they're going to review to see uh, if Calvin stepped on the baseline before the foul was called, just to make sure. If obviously if he stepped on the baseline, it keeps the Panthers alive. But I think we're going to end this with uh, Trey Calvin. And, with, and with that, Jordan Lathan fouls out. He has his fifth foul, so Lathan's night is done. Trey Calvin will shoot two here. I can't get over how close Golston was to hitting that shot. Oh, boy. It was <laughs> unbelievably close. He almost did it again. Calvin knocks his first free throw down, and that makes it a three-possession game. This is such a big win for the Raiders if they can hold on. Beating NC State on the road and then coming home and fighting off the Milwaukee Panthers. This could be a weekend we talk about that saves the Raiders' season. Calvin knocks down his second. Raiders lead by eight. Here is Golston. Golston. He's going to put it up, and that's going to be no good. He gets his own rebound. He was fouled hard. Fouled hard by the Raiders with nine seconds even to go. A little slow to get up, Parker. He landed on that lower back very hard, and as we saw in the first half, he rolled that ankle a little bit earlier. So DeAndre Golston went to war tonight, and he's going to leave with a couple battle wounds. But Absolutely. Absolutely he But it is. is an absolute treat to watch number four play for the gold. I hope we get to see him again in Indy. I don't hope we get to see him again in Indy, but as a basketball fan, I hope we get to see him again in Indy. Absolutely. And I hope that his ba and I don't think it will, but I hope his basketball career is not over when he leaves Milwaukee. I think he's got a very good shot of playing professional basketball. Certainly does. So we're waiting on the officials here. I think you can tell, Parker, as we wait for Golston to take these free throws. I, I don't know much about DeAndre Golston before he got to Milwaukee, but he looks like he played football in high school because he just has wide shoulders, man. Certainly does. He looks like he played linebacker and maybe a little bit of wide receiver in high school. And Golston will knock down his first free throw shot. But also knowing how athletic he is, he might have been the quarterback, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he, he could play all positions if he wanted to. 6'5", super athletic, can jump out of the gym, put him anywhere on the field. He'll make it happen. And Golston cuts the Raider lead to 6, 79-73. Baldwin calls his final timeout. We'll probably try to see a trap on the inbounds and a foul if the Raiders get it in. But Raiders, at this point, would need a historic collapse to come up short in this one. But, you know... These two teams have dealt with their fair share of collapses before. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but th this one, this one's going to be tough to come back from. Nine seconds, six-point deficit. Right. We're talking like Reggie Miller, eight points, nine seconds type stuff it, here. It, even the 22-point comeback in March, I think they had it down to four at this point. And they hit a three, drew a foul, or fouled. Wright State missed a free throw, and then they tied it. But down two, down six, if Wright State hits one th free throw here, it's a seven-point game, and it's over. Right. If Wright State misses both free throws, they do have a chance. This Nutter Center crowd is loving it. They are on their feet right now. We've got just absolutely – I think I saw a Ted Lasso sign over there. Parker, you might have to double-check on with me on that when he lifts it back up. I, I believe that's Ted Lasso. Let's see. 
You know, this student section tonight. There's there's Durag, Michael Scott. It's not the biggest crowd or not the biggest student section we've had here at the Nutter Center this year, but they are certainly passionate. And they all have signs. Absolutely. Woo. What a night. What a game. Yeah, unbelievable. Three night. games in three days. I mean, I'm only going to be on the call for two of them, but what a weekend for Raider basketball. Unbelievable. Yeah, we'll have you and I tomorrow from UD Arena. Hold that thought. We're getting back to the action here. Timeout, Wellage. Uh, but smart. We will have three games in three days here uh, at the, you know, not at, on WWSU 106.9. Tonight, this one, uh, about to go final here from the Nutter Center. Tomorrow, the Lady Raiders travel to UD Arena to take on the Flyers. You and I will be on the call there. And then on Saturday afternoon, is Green Bay. Be, it'll be Green Bay Panthers here at the Irvin J. Nutter Center. Scotty Kramer and Noah Kendig will be on the call for you there. And Parker, that was a really smart play by Andrew Wellich. Milwaukee got that trap exactly the way they wanted to. But that shows how much Andrew Wellich has gotten comfortable playing this year. Because if this was Andrew Wellich of last year, he probably would have tried to throw that ball in. It probably would have been stolen, and Milwaukee would have gotten a look. But he called the timeout. They had two timeouts left. He called the timeout. Really smart play. They can reset. So they will reset here. Wellage to is that, So inbound. is that Ted Lasso? That's up now. Is that Ted Lasso? I think that is. Uh, maybe. I have not seen Ted Lasso. Such so. a good show. It's so good. For those of you that don't know, it's about a uh, an American soccer coach that goes to coach uh, in Europe. It's amazing. Trey Calvin will go back to the line here, and if he hits one, this game's over. Absolutely. Even if he doesn't hit both, two threes in seven seconds is a tall order, but you hit one here, make it a three-score game, book it. And in and out. Fat lady ain't singing yet, Parker. No, she ain't. <laughs> Trey Calvin looking to put the icing on the Nutter Center cake tonight, and Got good it. night, Milwaukee. Wright State will have a chance to go 2-0 and in the Wisconsin battles this weekend. Golston floats it up and in, and that'll be the final here tonight at the Nutter Center. 80-75 to is our final from the Urban J Nutter Center. Tim Harris puts his hands over his head, and the crowd on their feet here at the Nutter Center. Standing ovation, and Tanner Holden is the man in Fairborn tonight. What a game for number two. We'll be back. The WSU Raider Post Game Show is coming up next. Don't go away, stay with us, WWSU 106.9. Raider Nation, the WSU Raider Post Game Show. It starts right now. <laughs> That's right, it is the WSU Raider postgame show. Raiders take this one tonight from the Irvin J. Nutter Center, 80 to 75. I'm Parker Tessa, joined here alongside with me is Shay Neal. You know, what a win for the Raiders tonight. Looked bleak there early in the second half. The Raiders were down by as much as 11, uh, and they come back, had a strong final 10 minutes of that game. Yeah. And, uh, and come out with a win tonight. Big win. And uh, Clint Sargent's first career win uh, taking over for Scott Nagy tonight. Absol absolutely. And he did a great job. And, Parker, I mean, at this point, the last two times these two teams have squared off in this building, if you haven't gone to a Milwaukee Wright State game at the Netter Center, that's on you. You're missing out. You absolutely are. For some final statistics tonight. Uh, I think we were both in agreement that Tanner Holden is our player of the game. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, you know, well, you know, in a sport like basketball, we have something that's called a statement game. And tonight was easily a statement game from Tanner Holden. What a night for number two. Yeah, he had 22 points, seven rebounds, six assists, eight for 12 from the free throw line. Uh, and all of that without making a three-point shot. He was 0 for 2 from the three-point line tonight. Uh, and then followed in scoring by Trey Calvin with 14. And Parker, something he does better than anyone, really in the Horizon League, drawing fouls. He drew 10 fouls tonight. He got Golston in foul trouble. 
He certainly did. Golston finished with four fouls. Lathan fouled out with five. Uh, Calvin had 14 points. Grant Basile, excuse me as I had a message pop up here, but Grant Basile had 12. Tim Finke with 11. Four Raiders in double figures tonight here at the Nutter Center. Uh, and then Keaton Norris had eight. Wilborn with six. Wellage with five. James Band with two. So every player who played for the Wright State Raiders tonight got a bucket at some point. Uh, and DeAndre Golston put his t- this Milwaukee team on his back tonight. No, he did. Fought to the very end. Had 26 points, six rebounds, one assist, two steals, four for nine from the three-point stripe. And that, w- that was really uh, – him and Josh Thomas were the two go-to players tonight for Pat Baldwin. Right, and what's crazy is that's kind of a down night for DeAndre Golston in this building. The last time he was here, he had 38. And, I mean, honestly – he had 14 in the first nine minutes or so of that game, and you and I both thought, oh, boy, here we go again. But they held him to just 12 points in the you know the last 30 minutes or so of that basketball game. I think that's a win for the Raider defense. Certainly is. Certainly is. So tonight, uh, the final 80-75, to Clint Sargent gets his first career win as the head coach of the Wright State Raiders with Scott Nagy. Acting the, head coach. Acting head coach. Interim head coach, if you will, uh, with Scott Nagy being out on the COVID protocol um, with, with COVID protocols, so Scott Nagy will not coach for uh, the next couple games. Raiders will be back in action coming up on Saturday it, afternoon. Yeah, and it's interesting that uh, it's interesting, Parker. They're calling uh, Chris Collins and Jim Brown are calling Tim Finke over as their player of the game. Obviously, he hit the three that really put the dagger in the Milwaukee Panthers, as well as playing elite defense on DeAndre, DeAndre Golston all night long. Uh, but uh, I think a lot of Raider fans. Tim Finke was awesome tonight. Trey Calvin was great tonight. Basili was great tonight. A lot of Raiders were great tonight. But I think most Raiders fans, as they leave the building tonight, know that this team doesn't win if Tanner Holden doesn't play the way Tanner Holden played tonight. Because every single time that it looked like the Raiders were losing grip on this game, every single time they needed a huge box out and rebound, every single time they needed a huge bucket, every single time, even the late possession when they needed to score to put this team away he drove he got double teamed he kicked it to Finky for the win Tanner Holden was a rock star tonight that is the kind of game that wins you Horizon League player of the year certainly does so the Raiders will be back in action coming up on Saturday afternoon uh, against the Green Bay Phoenix here at the Irvin J Nutter Center Scotty Kramer Noah Kindig on the call for you there and then Shay and I will be back tomorrow at 11.45 from UD Arena as the Lady Raiders <laughs> travel to UD Arena uh, to can, take, take can, on the fly. Can they push this game back to 3 p.m.? I need some sleep, man. <laughs> I, I, I don't have the authority to make that call. but And, and they're not um, going to do it. But with, with, with that. We're going to come in with, you know, the absolutely fried vocal cords and about six hours of sleep. Right. <laughs> But with that, uh, for Shay Neal to my left, uh, for Patrick uh, Schmalstick ha- helping us out in the studio. Appreciate his help as always. Is Without, he back in the studio? I don't think he's back in the studio. I was I'm going to say, there's no way. I just said that out of force to have it. But uh, with that, we appreciate appreciate Shay's help, appreciate the help of Patrick Schmalstick as always. Uh, I am Parker Testa. Uh, Raiders get the win tonight. So long. We'll be back tomorrow here on WWSC 106.9. Raider up.